Navigation. Single, boy mooring. A mooring boy is a type of boy to which ships can be moored in the deep oceanic areas. At certain locations, the mooring boy is also permanently moored to seabed by means of multiple anchors or chains. These chains are provided so that ships can be effectively moored to them. The boy contains a bearing system that allows a part of it to rotate around the moored part. When a ship is moored to this rotating part of the boy with a mooring connection, the vessel is able to swing freely in all directions. Single boy or point mooring system is a method by which only the bow of a vessel, particularly for liquid cargo carriers, is moored to boy or fixed structure. The ship can stay at the berth with minimum tension to the mooring rope as it is free to swing in all directions. Tools and equipment needed. Two numbers of messenger ropes. 30 mm to 32 mm diameter and 100 m length. Utility ropes. Large sized bar. Hammers Seaman's knife Grease And Cotton waste SBM Operation Vessels are moored with two synthetic fiber ropes to which a piece of short chafing chain is connected at the end so that the mooring lines may not wear out by contact with the chalks. The short chain is tied up to the bow chain stopper of the vessel. Free the winch drum for hauling in a pickup hawser. Test the winch. Fit a messenger rope to the drum. Lower the messenger rope close to sea level for the boat to pick up. After the SBM hawser pickup rope is connected to the tanker's messenger line, Heave up the messenger rope and the hawser pickup rope and heave in the slack with care as the SBM comes closer. The first layer of turns from the hawser pickup rope onto the winch drum should be spooled on with care. The turns of the hawser pickup rope on the winch drum should be watched closely to see that there is no uneven build up on the drum. Ensure the hawser pickup rope is led through the bow chain stopper to the winch drum. When the chaffing chain reaches at the chocks, it has to be lifted and hove carefully in extreme caution so no excess weight is coming on the pickup rope. When the chafing chain passes through the bow stopper, allow few links to pass and drop the tongue hinged bar in place and secure it with the pin. Hammer steel wedges if a gap exists between the securing pin and the bow stopper tongue so that there is no play between them. Assistance of a tug and one or two boats are taken during the SBM operation. And mooring from SBM. Test the winch without load. Heave the pickup hawser, remove the pin, and free the stopper. Clear the chafe chain of the chain stopper. Lower the chafing chain and hawser until the connection of the messenger rope comes to lie on deck. Cast off aft tugboat. Safety precautions. All personnel engaged in mooring or unmooring operations shall wear proper PPE. All personnel must remain alert particularly when the weight comes on the pickup hawser rope. Never stand inside any bites that may form on deck while heaving. Maintain good communications. Test communication equipment prior to commencement of the operation. Have also secondary means of communication ready. If communications fail, suspend the operation immediately until it is re-established. 
exercise particular care when mooring operation is being carried out in marginal conditions of weather and at night.